Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to make two compounds actually, two compounds in one video. And uh, that's going to be ammonium tetrachlorocuprate and potassium tetrachlorocuprate. Now, I've never heard of these anions before, the tetrachlorocuprate anion, but when I was making basic copper carbonate for other salts, uh, the solution turned green when I added HCl. And I went and researched what that could be from, and it turns out with extra chloride ions in solution, copper chloride actually forms this anion, tetrachlorocuprate 2 minus. And uh, after doing more research, you can actually make salts from it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. The copper chloride is very easy to make. You can either uh, put copper metal in HCl with hydrogen peroxide or you can make basic copper carbonate or any other basic copper salt, which I'll show on your screen how I did it. You just add uh, copper sulfate and sodium bicarbonate or sodium carbonate. And then you have your basic copper carbonate and then you can add HCl to that to form uh, copper chloride. And then you filter and dry that. And uh, here you go. It's still green because it's not fully dry. Usually the, um, <clears throat> the salt without the extra chloride ions in there is it's like a light blue color. but. Um, this should work fine for making these compounds as you're going to need extra chloride ions anyway and uh, once you dissolve it in water those those ions will disassociate and it should actually turn blue once it's dissolved so uh, let's get started so first I'm gonna make the potassium salt so I'll move these out of the way I'm doing this on a scale where I should get about 15 grams of the potassium tetrachlorocuprate so you're gonna need 7.89 grams of potassium chloride and 8.06 grams of copper chloride dihydrate. And the, the preparation is actually very simple. All you have to do is combine these in aqueous solution and then evaporate it slowly and you'll get some uh, nice crystals. Now the potassium salt is more of a light green and the ammonium salt is more of a cyan bluey color. So I'm gonna get some water. Add about 50 milliliters and then I'm going to add our salts so in goes the potassium chloride there we go and then our copper chloride Oops. there we go then I'll get this stirring While that's dissolving, right there, I shall make the ammonium salt. Another beaker, same thing. Add about 50 milliliters. And then add your two salts. Get that in focus, there we go. In goes your ammonium chloride. It is hydroscopic, so it's sticking to the paper a little bit. There we go. And our copper chloride. That was bad. Okay, after cleaning up the mess I made, um, we have our our mixture in here. As you can see, the potassium salt has turned to, the solution's turned pretty green. So I'll take this off, and then we'll get this one stirring. And we should see it turn more of a cyan. Alright, after everything dissolved, it was a little cloudy, so I filtered both solutions, and here we go. We have our, um potassium tetrachlorocuprate in this beaker and our ammonium tetrachlorocuprate in this beaker and now all that's left to do is to evaporate the solutions and uh, to assist with the evaporating process I have a little PC fan on a stand over there and it's blowing over the top of the beakers while we heat the solutions with the hot plate so that should speed things up if you have any fan really works but that's just a convenient way for me so all that's left is to evaporate the solutions and I will come back whenever there's not very much uh, solution left so I can show you what uh, 
what it'll look like when, when the volume gets low, and then how to get the crystals out of that without accidentally burning them or anything like that. So I will see you in a bit. Starting to form crystals in the speaker as well. And uh, we're going to continue until pretty much all of the solution is gone. So here we have our ammonium tetrachloracuprate. You can see it went from that dark green solution to this nice cyan, uh, cyan colored crystals. And uh, they're still a little bit damp, so I'm going to transfer them to this paper with paper towel underneath, which is a good way of drying powders. And uh, you can either recrystallize this to get even nicer crystals or even bigger crystals if you want. Or you can leave them like this. It's up to you. I think I'll just keep them like this because I don't really need large crystals. But it's all personal preference. So I'll, I'll clean that up. But here you can see what, what the crystals look like up close. Really nice. And here we have our potassium salt. You can see it's very, it's a lot greener than the ammonium salt, and uh, it actually looks like the copper chloride we initially put in. But this is the compound. This is what it looks like. It's vibrant green. And uh, get this out of the beaker onto the same paper towel with uh, paper on top set up. It really helps with the drying because the paper can absorb and transfer that water to the paper towel while actually getting the crystals off the paper is a lot easier than if you were to use a paper towel. So that's what it looks like. Very nice green. I'll clean up that beaker off camera, but I want to give you a nice look at these crystals. Really nice green. Here are our final products. We have our ammonium tetrachloracuprate and our potassium tetrachloracuprate. And after massing them, we got a 96.1% yield with the potassium and a 97.8% yield with the ammonium salt. And that's probably due to transfer losses and whatnot. But overall, this is a really good yield for you know what it is. It's basically just combining two salts and evaporating it. And uh, the color is very nice see the ammonium salt in there and the potassium salt uh, when it dried it turned a little bit lighter green but still a really nice color as well and uh, that's the synthesis I hope you enjoyed the video if you did like it subscribe whatever I don't care and uh, I will see you in the next video so bye bye